it's not easy to blind taste. It's a parlor trick. It's not a parlor trick. We blind taste each other for games. For bragging rights. I'll tell you what, I mean, I've been fooled. If you enjoy wine, there's nothing to be gained by blind tasting. But 40 years ago, a blind tasting changed the world. The Judgment of Paris. The Judgment of Paris. The judgment of Paris. What, the most famous wine event in the last 50 years. <laughs> best California wines against the best French wines. California wines ended up topping. He never knew they were going to win. No one did. It caused an explosion on the business front. Sold $32,000. That's crazy. And then all hell broke loose. Happens. Been a little secretive about the tasting, and that's kind of on purpose. We're dying to know how these were chosen. We assembled this group because you guys are the best of the best. The grandfather of the sommelier business. The most influential wine critic in the world. The man who planned the Paris tasting. The most important people who have ever been involved with the world of wine. That's a strong comment. Do you yeah. disagree? <laughs> this guy is an animal, badass businesswoman, best sommelier in the world. Their nose and their tongues and their mouths have been tuned for decades. I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out. I feel like we should just reveal the wines. Oh. Didn't see that coming. Holy are, are you not entertained?